Hey everyone and welcome to Only Truth Reviews. Today we're looking at the Brio battery powered freight engine or locomotive. Um, this particular engine is powered by a AA battery. It has a light actually on the front of the engine. The switch is on the top. You can go forward or backwards and it, it has rubberized wheels instead of the plastic wheels like a standard Brio engine to give it a little bit of traction to pull the train cars. You can see here it's fairly similarly sized to uh, some of the regular wooden trains that you can get by Brio. So it's not very big or, or strange looking with your train. It looks really awesome. Um, here you can see it's going up and down. I have two hills set up on this track. It can pull uh, a couple cars no problem over both the types of bridges I have on this track. Although if you add a third car with the rainbow bridge you can see it's a it's held together by string so it's it's a little bit flexible and sometimes the train has a hard time getting traction on that type of bridge to pull three or four cars over so on that particular bridge it can't pull as many but you can see here on the regular wooden bridge it can pull four cars over it no problem if you add a fifth car there isn't a lack of torque or power with the engine that starts to lose traction on hills. So this particular spot, I almost got hit, it's thought it was stuck, but it was just fine. It just sat there for a second until it got traction. You can see I added a sixth car here and it's chugging along just fine. Not a super speedy engine, but uh, definitely fast enough for kids to play with. Um, it gets kind of stuck there and I was just about to adjust it and it actually grabs traction and continues without my help. It just needs a little boost sometimes if you've got a lot of cars and you're trying to go over hills. Here you can see um, with three cars it just goes right around the track no problem. Um, the wooden hills are definitely easier than the plastic bridge I have on this track. Um, but all in all, it it's, goes around very nicely. Here you can see if I don't have any hills in the track, it, it can pull easily 11 cars. I don't have more than train cars than this, so I couldn't compare any more. But you can see that it's pulling this many cars just fine, and I bet you could add a couple more even on there if you wanted to. So if you kept your track flat, you can pull a ton of cars with this thing. Here in the next scene, I want to show you the battery. Uh, is easy to change. There's just two screws and I appreciate the fact that there's two screws here. It really shows the quality of this particular train. Um, but you just unscrew the screws and the battery is just right there. So I, I think that this train is definitely high quality. The plastic is sound. The, the battery compartment itself is really secure when the screws are screwed so you don't have to worry about your kids getting to the battery. Um, and all in all, my uh, toddler son loves playing with this train. I would recommend it to anyone who has the wooden train tracks for their kids. Um, it's just a slow and steady, strong little train. Um, we've been very happy with our purchase. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I can always answer some basic questions. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I hope that you can pick up this train and have some adventures with your kids.